public kinship is a concept which says, we are publicly related, do unto others as you would have those people do unto you. Very simple mantra. That, I, and that is just treat people the way you want to be treated. It's all about self-assessment. It's about something I do. To me, the assumption of a or the common culture is the key to all of this. If we as Americans do not understand yet, and this is all Americans, black, white, purple, whatever you are, we do have different ethnic cultures, obviously. Ethnic groups have their own ways of doing things and their own cultures, but a huge society like our society, which is multifaceted, multiracial, and multicultural, has to have an overall common culture that we all can aspire to, can assert as ours, and that is not doesn't belong to this person or that person, but that I help to build that culture. Without a common culture, we will destroy the country. And most people do not know the history of the Statue of Liberty. Uh, we all think we do. And we think that it was uh, erected for um, welcome immigrants to the United States, which is actually not true and was not the reason that it was erected. And of course, there is a story behind it. Uh, which may explain why you don't know the full reason. But that statue was given to the U.S. Uh, by the French. They probably would come and take it back now, but they, <laughs> they, gave, they, gave it to, they gave it to us because we dared to fight a civil war about freedom of a people. That was why. And there were many people, uh, when even though accepting the gifts, did not want to accept it publicly that this was why it was given. So just by happenstance, I think even though they may have asked her, but I can't get that part. I haven't read a book or two on it. The poem was written um, and the statue took on the life of the poem. Give me your, all right, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, which is interesting, but that's the life of a symbol. It comes in as one thing, it grows, it develops, it changes. Um, and it is as, as true as anything that when orthodoxy enters into the public arena, the first thing they will say, and I use that advisedly, they, truth does not change. Well, folks, truth changes. Truth changes every day. The world was flat. We now say it's round. And the truth changes because there is this interplay between religion and science. One which says it is fact-based. The other which says it is fact and faith-based, but more faith-based than fact-based. In America, we're in that ditch between the two. The answer is, I think there is in this younger American generation, a more open uh, idea of who they are as they explore themselves in ways that we could never have imagined. It may be that old people like us become the, the mitigators, the midwives, the difficult and unkind world dies and a new one is born because that is the struggle, the struggle of a new world and an old world and a new one uh, coming into, um, in, into play. I, I do believe that.